about uh, the San Francisco dyke porn movement, and I heard in other interviews you saying you didn't like that yeah. term. Is it that you don't like the word dyke, or you don't like dyke porn? Or I'm fine with dyke porn, and I think that uh, without dyke porn, I wouldn't be where I am now. You know, I, I use a lot of the same stars, and mm -hmm. um, the work that those directors have been doing, you know, Madison uh, Young and Shine Louise Houston, I mean, you know, it's fundamental, kind of, I stand on their shoulders, so to speak. <laughs> but, um, no, I don't like the word dyke. I understand where they're coming from, that it's a reclamation of the word, mm -hmm. but for me, I just think certain words I'm fine tossing out the window. And coming from the background that I came from, you know, the very first time that that I heard in the South, in my small town, um, a woman liking a woman, it was in that, it was used in that negative term, like, yeah. oh, she's such a, it, actually my father said, uh, he was arguing a case against another lawyer in my town, and he said, oh, I have a case against that dyke, so-and-so. And, -so. and um and so, you know, that's kind of where it takes me back to. It throws me back to that time. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, uh, and it's still like that in a lot of places in the South. And, yeah. you know, I just, I don't like dark. I don't like faggot. I don't like whatever, the N-word. I'm fine getting rid of those pejorative terms. Yeah, I'm just forgetting the faces. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I've faced, I've faced some flack for that, but I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> well, you got to have your own voice. Yeah. That's, you know, more power to you. Um, so, uh, I was wondering, you said it, um, you know, obviously what you're filming, what you're doing is primarily for women, Digi Romp is for women, and I totally understand that, but do you think that there is, um, I think there is room for a male audience, like a straight male audience? Yeah, it's interesting. interesting. I, lately, I'm not sure why, but I've had a lot more men signing up for the website. Um, you know, I... When I, you know, polled my customer base a couple months ago, you know, it was very, very, very few men. Like men were in the tiny, tiny minority. But as I said, I don't know really what's what's driving this, but it seems to be from some of the internet comments and things that I've seen when I've done interviews that uh, some guys <clears throat> are longing for that too. Hmm. I don't know. Um, in general, from the research that I've done. It seems that they kind of like more just like get to the point and go and this isn't clearly like the absolute polar opposite of gonzo so um, I don't know I don't know I think there is room I think it probably just depends on the guy and maybe we appeal more to um, to a guy with like you know artistic sensibilities um, maybe someone who would shop at American Apparel I don't know, <laughs> you know. Uh, so who knows? Huh. Well, I mean, I obviously guys, many, many straight men love lesbian sex and they think that yeah. women should be having sex with each other all the time. Of course. So I mean obviously there's kind of a built-in audience, but there's so much more going on in Juicy Pink Box yeah. sex than in most of your mainstream porn. You know, there's women who wear a dildo in their pants, you know, yeah. and wear it around. There's, yeah. you know, a lot of things that um, I think when men think lesbians, they do not think of these things. Of course. And it could be just, you know, like a really kind of mind-opening experience for them. Absolutely. And I mean, that's something that's extremely important to me um, because in mainstream porn, you do not see uh, a variety of lesbians. Um, you just see two girls that basically look like twins having sex with each other. And for me, I want to show a range of female beauty from more feminine to more masculine females um, and I don't know I think you know like masculinity and women is hot I like bitch girls you know um, and so I like to show them in my work yeah. well yeah readers take note it's pretty hot you should check it out because most of our readers I think it's safe to say are probably straight men but you should right. totally check out Juicy Pink Box um, so wrapping up what do you have coming up what can we expect and find on your website yeah, so um, therapy is out now. Uh, we roll out a new episode every week, so um, that's out now. There are a lot of other um, exciting episodes coming up on that. You can see Taxi and Confessions there. Uh, we also have DVDs coming out in the late fall, um, and I'll wait on giving the information about that until the 
public statement comes out, but I'll send okay. you the press release on that. Ooh, very excited. Um, and so, yeah, there's a lot of, there are a lot of really great developments that are going on with the company. So I think, you know, in addition to DVDs, next we're going to start expanding out and doing events and um, some other lifestyle products. Because for me, Juicy Pink Box, it will always be based in um, sex, but it's a lifestyle brand. And so I'd like it to grow, and I guess you can liken it to like old school Playboy. You know, like mm -hmm. this is a new media old school Playboy in a way. <laughs> so um, when I say lifestyle products, it won't be like sex toys. It'll be something different, like who knows, uh, whatever, alcohol or something like that. Fashion. Yeah, who knows? Um, Bring it all back together. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's um, just a lot more exciting and hot stuff. Awesome. Yeah. I can't wait. Thanks. Well, thank you very much. This has been a great conversation. I hope everybody really likes it. <laughs> it's been a blast. Thanks, guys. Bye. Remember to go to the website and sign up. $25 a month. JuicyPaintBox.com.